We're working on a kind of fun project over here at Janku. We're prepping our release for our new open source project management and building software that we're calling DriftFix, and we wanted to do a branding exercise to try to figure out the colors and the logo and different things like that. So one of the ideas we had was actually to come in here in Inkscape and take the dots from the eye and make it look like they're drifting away from the actual word. So um, in the word drift over here on the left-hand side, you can see that we have this new object that's up and to the left from the stem of the eye. And then over on the word fix, we use the same style for the, the eye to have the objects the same so they look consistent, but we had the dot actually positioned correctly over the stem in the eye in that word. So the idea is, you know, the first word is drifting and the second word is fixed and positioned correctly. So one of the issues that we're running into though is that each one of these letters is its own object. And if we want to actually remove the original dot from the eye, we have to somehow separate the dot in the object from the stem. So if you just were to try to move it off the page right now, the stem goes with it, or if you were to, to actually cut it, the whole thing disappears. So what you can do is you can actually select the whole object here with the dot and the stem, and then go up in your main menu and go to path and click on the break apart option. That's shift control K if you'd rather do that. And then when you break it apart, you can see that both objects are now selected. So if I were to click anywhere to unselect both objects and I were to click only the dot, which is what I'm trying to remove right now, you can see that it selects only that object. Now I can simply press delete and we have the theme for our Drift Fix logo.